Hey everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new modern controls in Power Apps. So if you enjoy Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate, SharePoint Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because we'll be doing more videos in those areas. So we have an article from Yogash Gupta, and it looks like he's from uh, the Power Apps team. I'm just going to go over this article and then we'll go into a power app and actually use some of the uh, controls. So this is a new feature that just recently came out. Uh, it's still in the experimental phase, so don't expect to use this in production yet, but uh, it is pretty cool. So they're adding more modern features to power apps. So this is what the what an app could look like now. So there's a few different controls now. Uh, the buttons look more sleeker. The boxes look a little more, you know, modern. Because some of the older controls as seen down below, they kind of look old, you know. It looks like a late 2000s app and these new controls kind of bring it more to life to where users can, uh, it just looks visually more appealing. So they're saying it's going to be more modern, uh, less clutter design with a high usability baseline, build apps from low code. Uh, they're going to be fast, so hopefully a little bit faster, bigger data sets. That'll be nice. So they're made, made for performance, uh, accessibility, theming. Theming will be cool because uh, right now you have to get like, a color palette down then implement that color palette in your Power App. So if the, it's easy to make the themes of your uh, Power App be even easier, that'd be awesome. So again, this is just the new, the same screen Power App as the one down below, but this is using the new controls. This one's using the controls we currently have. So, you know, all these buns are like kind of blocky, but they get the job done. All the Power App stuff gets the job done right now, but this just looks a little bit better, you know. That's always, that's always good. So the preview will be updated frequently over the next few months. The goal is to provide a full suite of modern controls that are easily to style and fast. There's currently new controls on the initial release. So we have all the controls right here. And we will test those out individually in the Power App after. What we've done so far, the per control styling, color and font support that will work with the new theming. All right, so color and font, that's already in there. New theming system. Minus the look and feel of the apps, greater ease and flexibility, more controls. That'll be cool. Toggle, breadcrumb, multi-select dropdown. Form gallery, new composed controls. Improved authoring and control, controls experience. Making enhancements to authorizing experience. So they just want to make it easier and quicker to build apps, which is always, always good. Some of these apps can get really complicated. And then it just talks about activating, enabling these features. So let's go ahead and go into my Power App and we will create a new screen just to test out some of these new controls. So let's go into settings and under upcoming features, if you scroll all the way down, you're able to turn on, try out the modern controls. So let's go ahead and enable that. And to find these new controls, let's go ahead and click on the insert. And at the bottom, you have a tab for modern controls. Let me just go ahead and add a gallery in here. And we'll see how it functions with the gallery. So we'll do a vertical gallery. So now we have a simple gallery with some of the information. All right, so let's go ahead and insert a new bun. So you can see this is the new bun. Uh, we currently have some primary, secondary, so that affects the theming. Uh, you can change the text, so I can change this to like a submit. And I actually made that outside of the gallery, so let's go ahead and put that inside of the gallery, so it's on each of these. Now we can drag it over. Let's go ahead and make this primary, so it looks better. And when you will hover over it, it changes the hover over fill, which is nice. Display mode, accessibility label, and the positioning right now. So it looks like you got the on change, on select, so that's good. Focus. So 
not too many features right now but i'm sure some will be added down the line so let's just go ahead and do an on select so let's go to just make a navigate see if it works so we'll navigate to the screen main so if i click on this button it should take us to the home screen that's pretty cool uh the button does look a lot sleeker than the previous one so if i answer a previous button you got this big blocky one but uh you have all the controls on the right hand side which uh i assume they're going to add to these more sleeker buns but it just looks older like like late 2000s button that one looks sleeker but you can make this one to look like that so it's not really a big deal right now let's go ahead and remove the button and let's go ahead and check out something new oh we got check boxes so this is, looks a little bit better. We'll add the old checkbox so you guys can compare. So this is the old checkbox and this is the new checkbox. Again, the new one just looks a lot more modern. And right now you have a few functions. You got the checked, checkbox, label, advanced. I'm sure the on change properties there. And it looks like you can just change where it is on the screen and the design. So. They're going to be adding that later. As you can see, the uh, previous checkbox has all these options for customization, and the new one doesn't. So they're going to be implementing that later, I assume. But it looks a lot sleeker. I like it. You know, it looks a lot more modern. This one, a little more blocky, but that one, you, just, just these new modern controls are nice because it means they're really put in the effort to make these controls and to make the power apps look a lot more modern. So you don't need like these software developers to like customize it really nicely. You can just do it yourself because power apps is really easy to use by the user. So we have an info button right now. So if you click on it, oh, this is pretty cool. So if you click on it, you have a, you can put some content here, like saying help. So if I click on this info button, you can do a pop-up, which is nice for like letting users know like, hey, um, this is like the information you need. Like if you're like setting a password, you can have them say, okay, it's gotta be eight characters, a symbol, a capital, capital, <laughs> capitalized letter. So that's pretty neat. I do like the info button. Uh, a link, I know hyperlinks are kind of like blocky right now because you have to do like, have to do an HTML text, I believe. Uh, you can do a link. Oh, that's just the icon. Yeah, for links right now, I have to do like an HTML text, and it can get really just gets annoying when um, you have to do hyperlinks because it's got to be in like the HTML code. So let's click on link, and it brings a new tab, so it's easy to use. So I'm looking forward to that feature having links. Go ahead and progress bar so this is pretty cool it's kind of like on the on the web page you got the progress bar at the top so i assume um, for these steps it if all three of these are filled out or if they're just the brands filled out it's going to move the progress bar over and then once this is filled out it's going to move the progress bar over so it's just like is if this text box is not blank no more um, move along on the progress bar so that's pretty cool i definitely do like that because you can kind of have a lot of information on the screen, but allow users to go left to right and insert information and let them know that, hey, you know, you filled out all the required information in this in this block of uh, combo boxes or input boxes, and you can move on to the next one. So that's pretty cool. Definitely do like that because I don't think there's really too much like that. You could probably change a a shape to expand longer based if, uh, this combo box is filled out, that combo box is filled out. You can have the shape move from, let's say, 200 pixels to 500 pixels. So you can kind of do that now, but it just, the one simple control makes it a lot easier. And you have a few cool options here. So thickness is definitely a new, something new in Power Apps. Rounded square. So you can set this to false, the color few different colors which is cool i definitely do like that uh, the value max value so it's kind of like a slider a little bit but we will go ahead and move on to the next one 
a spinner. So spinners are cool because you previously had to make a upload a photo of a GIF. Don't correct me if you say the GIF the other way, but uh, yeah, spinners are definitely cool because if you're like loading information, uh, you don't want the you want to let the user know that you're loading information from a SharePoint list. And if there's a spinner icon that we can say, hey, you know, it's currently loading data, show the spinner, and then when the data's downloading, you can have the spinner go away. That would be a pretty neat feature. I would like that. Because right now I have a flow that does that. And it's just annoying doing going to Power Automate and making a flow for something like this that can be implemented. Like, hey, you're loading this data. We have a nice spinner here. So I definitely do like this and I will be using this pretty frequent frequently if they in if they implement it the way I think they will. Next we have a tab list. So we will just use the employee data. And it looks like it has all the titles in here right now for tabs. So I think when they mean with this, you can like I don't know if how you would do this on a large data set, but if you if Ali selected, let's say it's gonna show all of Ali's information down here, or if Chris is showing it would show all the information down here, or if you want, if they implement it like this, let's say uh Mike's selected in your title field. So let's say Mike has multiple there's multiple mics in your organization. So you can filter this gallery. To only show mics, so that'd be pretty cool. Definitely do like that, but it would only work. I don't know because have you? So I only have seven values in that table. What if you have like fifty? I mean, you can make like a slider. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I do like this. Cause tabs are pretty cool, and it's just like a new feature that I haven't really worked with yet. So you can probably do a lot with it. So I guess we will have to wait and see what they do with this. Let's go ahead and take out the tab list. Looks like there's more things down here with question marks. So, and there's no properties, so we'll see when they add more. So you have the text, then you have a text input. Let's say I wanna enter a name. Oh, this is on the alignment. Let's change that to the text. So we've entered a name. Let's make this bigger. Uh, size. We have width size and height size for this. Size. Text size 300. Try changing it to 500. So it's definitely different from the other ones. Text size on the other one is, oh, oh, since it's a, an experimental feature, it has text size 800. So the font sizes on the old one are like 10 through 20 or something. A lot smaller on this. So we have enter a name, and let's say for value, what is this? I don't think I did drop down. So let's add a drop down too. So we have an input box and then we have a drop down. So let's do employee data. And for the field of the drop down, we actually have just the title right now, which is cool. So enter a name. Ooh, when you click on it, it will let you know that you're actually inputting it in that field. So Michael. So that input box is really nice. It's really sleek and modern. And uh, the drop down menu is a lot better than the previous the one we currently have, which is a combo box. So if you look at the two, and let me add the items. So currently you have to do like choices, employee data, dot, uh, title, no. That's only a choice value, so we'll do job title. So that's a choice field in mine. So this is the current one. It's pretty good. It looks good right now, but compared to this new one, I 
it uh this new one just blows it out the water <laughs> so i definitely do look forward with, to that and i do like these modern trolls i think i think in like 10 months they're going to be pretty handy to use so it looks like they're going to make power apps easier to use and if you already know power apps pretty well they're going to be pretty pretty easy to catch on and use but uh, I think you want like a good balance of knowing the previous, the previous tools, and using the new modern controls. Uh, it's just gonna be even better. Your apps are gonna look beautiful. Uh, it's gonna be easy to implement and hopefully easy to work with the SharePoint columns that are more complicated to work with. Hopefully, using these new modern controls, it won't won't be too much code. I know with like multi select fields multi-choice fields it's kind of a pain to work with so hopefully they fix that too so i definitely look forward to these modern controls uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you like the video feel free to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you in the next video